Hello, this is Wayne from GSG coming to you loud and proud from Houston, Texas. And this is my breakdown level 99 Clio mission how to video. The first thing you want to do before you go out on any Clio mission is to be prepared. I have my homemade painkillers, my snacks, some mines, some whistling box mines and some chemical incendiaries. Also in the back of my vehicle I have my backup supplies, some extra meds and some more incendiaries just in the event that I need them. And when you're out on the mission don't be worried you're gonna make mistakes so when you make the mistakes just don't panic. Um, take your meds, eat your snacks, roll, 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 roll uh, whatever you have to do and as a last resort um, you can always just jump into your vehicle and mow them down but at the higher levels there will be so many Zeds that this will destroy your vehicle and be aware that juggernauts can flip your vehicle over and destroy it so with the introduction done here's my character there's our gear, there's my backup gear, and this is my Clio vehicle. I keep it stocked at all times because you never know when you are going to get a Clio mission. You may not have the influence at that particular time to go get the things you need out of your locker. So as soon as I can and have the influence and the means, I stock a vehicle and I use that vehicle for absolutely nothing else but Clio runs. That way, regardless of what I'm doing, I always have what I need to go do a Clio run. So we're headed out to the site. Also, at higher levels, well, not necessarily just higher levels. There are some areas where just solely using your vehicle is just not suitable anyway just because of the terrain. Like up near the cemetery or in the woods. Um, I've had to use my vehicle as a last resort. Uh, I think once, maybe twice. But generally I just run around blow everything up and thin the ranks that's the the biggest key issue is drawing as many away from Clio as possible and then to distract all of the latchers on like all of these Zeds that I just passed will eventually end up all in this area if you don't try to take some type of measure to uh, distract them. Uh, fireworks at lower levels they work. I mean they fireworks actually work better because they will hold the Zed's attention longer. Just the whistling box mines if you've researched that and you can make them they actually kill some of the Zed so it always helps. So the first thing I'm gonna do is ring the perimeter with some whistling box mines to try to halt all of these latchers on from joining the Clio party over here near this little shed. And I'm going to come around and try to do this on multiple sides. See these Zeds right here? They're all running over there to join the party, but I'm about to distract them away. And then I'm going to come do the same thing over here on this end. Now we're going to start killing Zeds. And I prefer the chemical incendiaries because they kill everything, even ferals. So research that up as early as you can because they will definitely come in handy. The bloater gas is always to get out of it as fast as possible. Most of you people already know this, but 
You just don't want to linger around because then you're history. Now we got all kind of fat boys coming to the party. He's just going to burn them down. And we'll Zed neck it at least two or three more times in here. I definitely catch myself on fire a few times. And you see, with all of my distractions, I do have this area fairly cleared out. It's just everything is chasing me around, not necessarily near the Cleo. So I just gotta keep them spread out, keep them thin. They're in manageable numbers. The more you keep them spread out, the easier it is. Now we've handled most of the stragglers. We just gotta kill these juggernauts. Which, I'm not even certain how many there are, or were, but there's definitely four still up. Stragglers are starting to get kind of manageable. I zig when I should have zagged right there. But I survived it. Alright, here we go, fat boys. It's time to clean up this mess. Unsuppressed fire is bound to draw in a few stragglers, but believe it or not, we're on the downhill slide of this. And this is me running for my truck, thinking I parked it right here, wondering what the hell I did with my truck, but I actually put it on the other side. And of course that cost me a little bit because it spawned in a few more Zeds, but not a whole lot. I'm going to get my backup meds and my other chemicals. And we're going to swing back around to finish this off. That fat boy. If it weren't for them damn flying squirrel zeds. Here's one more zed necking. Playing with fire. Eventually she'll quit running into it, but she, she managed to get a few zeds. few down for me. Mop them up. And just for the hell of it, we're going to burn one more time. There we go. I can't believe that noise didn't bring any zombies. Cleo is successfully shut up. Fat boy. All right, now all we gotta do is mop up a few stragglers, and then the loot is all ours. Got us a grenade launcher, fucking sweet. A Cleo smasher, some meds, and some grenades. And roughly. I kind of calculated some of this out, the resources spent. So do you think Cleo knows we're here? And she's sending these things to us on purpose? 
Yeah. Or are these beacons just landing everywhere? She's sending them, sending them on purpose, Lily, just so we can run around and act a fool, give us something to do. A few more little stragglers. Now, at lower levels, you can definitely run in here, even probably on this one with the obstructions nearby. You could probably run in here and destroy them with your vehicle, but at the higher levels, when there are fewer vehicles to be found, and I don't, do not have Ray Santos in my camp, uh, vehicles are a commodity you want to take care of. I'll run this home. One last straggler. We'll go secure our loot in our vehicle. Enjoy, motherfuckers! Alright, Lindsay said it. I didn't. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. This was definitely fun for me to make. Hopefully it was as fun. Get out of our way, fat boy as fun for me to make as it is enjoyable for you guys to watch so let me know if y'all would like to see something new and please always like and comment don't suppose you've decided on whether we can join you or not 